Iowa City says it's not approving any new tobacco licenses until next year. City leaders say they've seen an increase in stores that sell a variety of smoking products, also known as vape stores or head shops. KCRG TV 9's Brian Tabak reports on concerns that these retailers are selling products that might not be safe. Brian? Beth, in the last two years, Iowa City has approved 22 new tobacco licenses. And the city manager said they'll use this moratorium to take a deeper dive into what these stories are selling and if there are any safety concerns. Walking through downtown Iowa City, it's hard to go too far without passing a smoke shop. Evan Semft says he's noticed the proliferation of stores selling tobacco products, bongs, vapes, pipes, and supplements. There's probably half a dozen shops just within the downtown area. According to Iowa City records, the city approved 22 new tobacco licenses since March of 22. That's more than the city leaders say they'd seen in previous years. I do think it's obnoxious that in every corner you can see two different vape shops. The Iowa City City Council voted to put a moratorium on new tobacco licenses for the rest of the year. City Administrator Jeff Fruin says this gives the city a chance to see if these businesses have public health implications. There's certainly a concern about um, tobacco use among minors. That's one thing we'll have to learn a little bit more about. We'll engage some of the public health experts in the area. This month's long pause on new licenses isn't about keeping people from accessing tobacco products. It's also about learning what's actually being sold and advertised. Really what this several month permit will do will allow us to look at all those things, including what types of products are being sold, what city has the what, what products the city has the authority to regulate, and what type of regulations may or may not be needed. It's a change since says he's all for, especially for the downtown area. They're a little bit of an eyesore. Um, they're bright neon sign loaded places that uh, I don't know if they add to the culture of downtown very much. Fruin says this moratorium will last until January 1st of next year. In the studio, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV 9 News.